Hey, first things first, happy birthday, Mom. I love you. Uh, secondly, hi, everybody else. Welcome to Sporkle Saturday. I'm yours truly, Pat Dooley, each and every week here on my YouTube channel. I go to Sporkle.com, which is an online quiz site, and I find a wrestling-related quiz, and I take it here on YouTube for you fine folks. Uh, as for myself, I am a uh, an interviewer, an announcer, a commentator. Uh, I've done podcasts. I've done hype videos. I was on creative for a while. Uh, pretty much anything, uh, talking head for documentaries, anything in the wrestling industry that doesn't involve taking bumps, I'm your guy. Uh, so I'll get into more specific plugs here at the end. Uh, but let's go ahead. This week's quiz is Impact World Heavyweight Champions. So this is going back to the NWA TNA years, which are coming back minus the NWA. The naming conventions of uh, the promotion, the once and future total nonstop action. Absolutely bonkers. There's a decent period where I'm going to know all of these. There are 78 of them. And I got 10 minutes to get them. I don't think I'm going to get them all. There are a few periods where I just stopped watching, stopped paying any attention. Uh, so I'm sure I'm going to miss some there. I'm guessing probably about 75 to 80% on this one. Uh, which is a bummer that I don't get 100%. I love getting 100% and I haven't in a few weeks. Uh, but here we go. This is a quiz from Martin. Uh, who uh, He's got almost 95,000 plays on this one. 4.1 rating. Good stuff from Martin. Let's give it a shot. Impact, World Heavyweight Champions. Uh, okay, so a bunch of those are going to be Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> uh, but the first one was Ken Shamrock. Uh, and then I think, did he lose it to Ron Killings? Yes. AJ Styles won it early. Yep. Uh, okay, so in 05, Raven. This is where it bounced back and forth with Jarrett. Um, who else won it in that stretch? I know Abyss did at some point. That was at 6, though. So. Uh, 05, Monty, I don't think Monty Brown ever actually won it. He should have. Uh, Rhino, um, Raven, oh, sick. okay, so I was watching really, Nash, I don't think ever had it, Angle, I know when he came in, did, Samoa Joe, uh, so at this point I'm just going to name a bunch of Christian Cage guys that I know had it, uh, and then that I'll fill in the blanks as, as they come up, uh, so, yeah, see, that's good information. I didn't know Brian Cage had it. Josh Alexander, I know, had it several times. Moose. Uh, the current champion is, I think, Alex Shelley, right? Chris Saban, I know, had it. Uh, Austin Aries had it uh, multiple times. Uh, uh, Alexander Shelley. Um, Matt Cardona had it for all? No? Probably should have. Um, I don't think... Did Hogan ever book himself to win it? No. Bully Ray had it. Um, that whole Aces and Eights debacle. Uh, Ken Anderson. I know I had it a couple of times. Um, Eric Young had it a couple of times. I don't think Steiner ever had it. I don't think Booker ever had it. It's weird, I can't think of who Shelly beat to win the title. Because Alexander... Who did Alexander lose it to? Uh, I don't think Ethan, Ethan Page never had it. Uh, have you guessed yet where uh, I stopped paying much attention? Uh, okay, so... Yeah, who are the like mainstays in it? Sting? Yep, a bunch of those were Sting. Jeff Hardy. Um, I'm just trying to think, like, who all was in the main event mafia? That was Booker, Nash, Angle. Who's the fourth guy? Joe? Maybe? Uh, AJ Styles. I don't think Kazarian ever had it, did he? AJ. Fairly certain Jerry Lynn didn't. 
Um, Kirby D. Um. <laughs> Hit the wall. <sighs> okay, so. Some of these I'm amazed are only on there once. Like, Moose only ever had the title one time. Josh Alexander seems like he had it more than twice. Who did. Who did Shelley just won it? Who did he beat to win it? Why why can't I think of <laughs> Um God, I still have five and a half minutes left. Okay, so 2009, Sting comes into the year as champion, loses it to somebody who then loses it to Angle. It's Angle's fourth title reign. 2009. Who's a top guy in TNA in 2009? Beat Sting, but lost to Angle. I think that was... 2010 was the year of the ill-fated Hogan run, right? Or the, it started. So it wasn't one of the guys that he brought in. Did I already guess Ric Flair? I did. Um, oh, there was a whole thing where they crossed over with uh, Lucha Underground, right? So I think Pentagon Jr. Phoenix. Oh, Kenny Omega. Um, who did Kenny be for it? Eddie Edwards? No. Maybe Richards? No. Who did Kenny beat for the title? Seven out of seventy eight. <sighs> yeah, that like that run from twenty eleven to twenty seventeen, I just don't I just was not watching. It's wild to me that they never put the title on Nash, as involved as he was. Same with Flair. And that Hogan never put the belt on himself. Minor miracle. Yeah. Homicide. Conan. Hernandez. Matt Morgan. Shark Boy should have had it. But I'm 
I'm kidding. Shark Boy never should have had it. But I love me some Shark Boy. I don't think Eddie Williams ever had it. Saban and Shelly and both Hardy. I'm just trying to think of like the top tag teams. Uh, Richards and Edwards. James Storm. Bobby Roode. Okay, that gives me a couple more. Yeah, yeah. I thought I've got that one gap in 2009. I guess none of the champions from 2017. Clearly that year did not make an impact on me at all. Um, gosh, why, why am I struggling this bad with this? I mean, granted, when I started, I said I, I didn't expect to do super well. It's really bugging me that I can't remember who Kenny Omega beat for the title in 2021. Rich Swan, that's right. Okay, so Foley had a Magnus. Lashley, I definitely should have remembered. EC3. Drew Galloway, who's now Drew McIntyre. Eli Drake. Now L.A. Knight, Johnny Impact, Sammy Callahan. Yeah, I should have remembered. Steve Macklin was who Alex Shelley just beat. I should have remembered some of these. I should have remembered Foley. I should have remembered EC3. I should have remembered Lashley. I'll be honest, I didn't know Eli Drake ever had the title. I forgot Tessa Blanchard had it. 60 out of 78 is not terrible. 77%. The average is 61. Um... I did okay. I'm not. I'm not thrilled with it, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, hey, I'll take it. It's uh, it's another you know above fifty percent quiz. I have managed to go almost the entire year without one. The lowest one I ever did was fifty three point seven uh, back in October. That quiz was rough. Uh, but yeah, so Impact World Champions. I didn't do as hot as I would have liked. But, you know, I'm still surviving. It is almost Christmas. Next week will be the last uh, last episode before Christmas. So, you know, as of right now, you've got nine shopping days left. If you want to get a nice gift for a wrestling promoter in your life who maybe needs an announcer or an interviewer or a commentator or somebody in creative or a podcaster or a, somebody to make hype videos or a talking head for documentaries. Uh, I have done a little bit of everything in my, my relatively brief time in the wrestling industry, uh, but I'm always happy to help promotions however I can. Uh, you can check me out every Friday in Tullahoma, Tennessee for the Southern Wrestling Federation. I am their ring announcer. Uh, I'm also the play-by-play -play announcer for two shows on Ricky Morton's YouTube channel uh, for his School of Morton promotion. Uh, every Wednesday, I'm on the Agoji series alongside Bobby Lee. Uh, and every other Sunday, I am on Revolution uh, alongside Prince Malik. Uh, there's also another every other Sunday show that happens in the in-between weeks. Uh, Bobby and Malik do that one. I'm not on that show. Uh, but every Wednesday and every other Sunday for School of Morton, every Friday for the Southern Wrestling Federation. And starting in just a couple of weeks, January 6th, New Revolutions is the name of the show. The promotion is TriStar Wrestling, based out of Hohenwald, Tennessee. Uh, I will be there as an announcer. I've been helping with hype videos. Really excited to get this new promotion off the ground. Uh, Mike Jablonski's running the show. He's uh, uh, he's a kind of a local legend as a wrestler. Uh, this is kind of his dream, getting this promotion off the ground. He's got a really good team behind him. I'm really excited to get started and to be a part of that team. Um, in the meantime... Uh, like I said, if if you need somebody on uh, any uh, any other every other Sunday or any Saturday that I'm not already booked in at uh, at TriStar, 
hit me up. My contact information is on the screen. Uh, my DMs are open, I'm pretty sure, on all the social medias. Or, of course, you can email me. That's there as well. Uh, in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I will be back next week with a quiz called Royal Rumble Winners by Photo because it's Christmas week and I want to be done quick so I can go and enjoy Christmas. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I will see you next week.